In March of 2020, I and many others lost my job temporarily. Many businesses were shut down because of uh, the government here in California. And in the beginning, I said, well, I'm, I'm not working. I have free time. I, I, I was just like exploring, for example, some shows or movies that were on my radar that I had heard about that people had recommended to me. But now I finally had extra time to do that. So I remember like in the beginning, I watched Twin Peaks, which I actually loved. I didn't like the ending at all, like the actual moment that it ended. It, I didn't care for that, but it was a great show. And, and, you know, I did that with a few other things and eventually pretty shortly, I don't know how long it took a couple months, three months. I don't know how much time had passed, but I realized, um, I, I was just absolutely wasting time and not doing anything that was benefiting me. Because another idea that I remember having when I first found out that we would be shutting down was, oh, I should, uh, I can dedicate a lot of time to piano and learning new songs on piano and improving in, in, in that in that way. I never did that at all the entire time. In fact, I haven't, I've hardly touched a piano in the past two years. Um, but what I realized was, you know, and I don't know exactly, I can't remember if it was a video that I saw or what, what made me kind of focus in on this one thing. But I realized, okay, Spanish. I've always, or I've, for a very long time, I've wanted to actually learn Spanish, but I haven't consistently applied myself. I took two years of Spanish in high school. The second year was pretty much a joke. It was an easy A kind of class because of the teacher and the way he had formatted his class, it was very easy to get an A without learning. And so shame on him and shame on all of us for exploiting that system, but I didn't learn anything that second year. So I had Spanish one in high school when I was a freshman in high school. Mm, maybe one or two years, maybe two or three years after high school, I purchased Rosetta Stone and I used that program. It has five levels. I think I made it to the end of level two, maybe the beginning of level three, but I didn't really progress through it. But that program did help me with pronunciation. And I expanded a little bit on the basic vocabulary that I knew. I still couldn't really put together a sentence or not a complex sentence. I could ask simple, it was just a handful of phrases or maybe a couple handfuls of phrases that I knew. and now a growing vocabulary of words where someone could say, how do you say this in Spanish? And I could answer that question. But if they asked that question in Spanish or any question in Spanish, I wouldn't understand what they were saying. So the, I was at the point where, you know, I could maybe pass a quiz that was written in English about Spanish vocabulary or something, if that makes sense. And even with Rosetta Stone, it wasn't like I started using it and I used it consistently. I would use it for a couple weeks, maybe a month tops. Then I would fall out of that habit and I wouldn't use it for several months. And then I would go back and have to do the review. And I did this for years, whether it was Rosetta Stone, then it was Duolingo. I've tried Busu, various uh, Pimsleur more recently. But I've tried various uh, apps and they have all helped me in one way or another, but my issue my entire life, I mean, starting in after Spanish one in high school and moving on. Of course, I went to Peru after high school and that was probably, well, certainly the most valuable experience. But looking back, I really didn't apply myself like I should have if I really wanted to be learning the most Spanish possible in that experience. I just kept to myself. I didn't engage in conversation. I was afraid to engage in conversation, I think, because I just knew it's so difficult to understand people. I still was really limited with the vocabulary, but I did learn a lot in that trip about, like, I mean, I think from that point on, I've been able to order food at a restaurant or, or uh, do grocery shopping type of things. And, and, and among a few other things, I learned a lot, but, um, 
if I had the motivation that I have now or the, the discipline, uh, this, yeah, discipline is a better word. If I had the discipline I have now and I went back and, and in the time machine and I experienced, I would have improved incredibly just given the amount of time I was there. But, you know, it is what it is. That's life. So anyway, that, that helped a lot. But there's these were all kind of that being the most valuable. These were all isolated moments. OK, I'm learning Spanish. I'm doing it one month and then six, seven, eight months, maybe even a year at times of not doing anything, not learning anything new. So fast forward to, like I said, 2020, after a few months of just fucking off, I thought I should actually start learning. And I did start learning, and I have continued since then to practice every single day in one form or another. Again, experimenting with some apps and whatnot. I'm not interested in classes. I don't think that class, that traditional classroom format helps me. Um, maybe, you know, in the future, if I wanted to teach Spanish or something like that, then I would need classes to learn all of the technical side of things, the, 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 all of the little grammar, grammar rules and exceptions and everything that I would need to know in order to teach. But I'm not cur currently interested in that. Um, but anyway, what, how, have, how have I been learning Spanish? How have I been teaching myself or learning? I have been now watching shows, watching movies, playing video games, and now finally reading books, and most importantly, speaking with people. That's the most important. But given the nature of my personality, specifically in times when I am in a low state, a state of mild depression or something like this, I don't, in those states, I don't feel like talking to anyone in any language. I don't feel like being around people. So in order to continue improving my Spanish during those phases, and not allow the habit to break. That's where the movies and shows and video games come in. Movies and shows can be very powerful in the sense, well, there's, there's, there's all sides of things, right? There's, there's so many aspects of this. If I want Spanish that is very crisp and clear and easy to understand and slow, any form of nature documentary style footage with a narrator that's perfect it's always perfectly spoken and slow and uh it's easy easier but also of course with shows and movies i have access to a very authentic form of spanish how it is spoken in any given region people speaking very naturally in front of the camera as they would without a camera quickly um with you know slang or otherwise but just more about the speed how all of the words kind of blend into one and I need to practice that's still a, very, a major area where I struggle but that's a valuable thing from those from uh, movies and shows the value in video games obviously comes from the fact that I can make choices in the game I can decide I, I need to understand a quest or a mission I need to read what my objective is. I need to understand what I'm being told. I need to understand which dialogue options I'm responding with. And as I was, or as I have been specifically playing games in Spanish, I realized how can I um, get a little bit more out of this? And that was when I decided that I could record footage of me playing and then make a video out of it in which I speak, I speak more Spanish. And in that process of dubbing the video in Spanish, I need to oftentimes look up, how do I say this thing that I want to say? Because I know it in English, obviously in my head, it's natural. How do I say this in Spanish? I look it up, I find out how to say it, and I say it. And these things are still, these videos are still filled with mistakes, but posting these videos for me is like these Vid, uh, Spanish video game videos where I'm speaking in Spanish it's as though I am making a, a video project or like a, it's like a form of homework for me where I continue to learn and get a little bit more 
a little bit more out of the experience than I would have if I had just sat there and played video games and then turned it off and didn't really think about it anymore. Um, I felt like explaining all of this because I don't think I had yet. And it's clear to me that only a very small number of people on this channel enjoy those videos. They are not popular by any means. And, uh, and I'm, I'm probably not going to make too many more of them anyway, though I might make more because I have some footage and I, the thing is I have to be in the mood. But like I mentioned, all of these different forms of practicing and learning, it kind of rotates depending on my mood, right? My, my emotional, mental state. Lately, or more recently, I have been speaking with more people, and that is what I should truly always be doing the most, because that's what I want to be able to do, is to converse and express my thoughts, feelings, beliefs, emotions, and everything in Spanish. And that happens through conversation with other people. And that's what I'm doing mostly, or trying to do mostly. Of course, reading is, is critical, and I'm starting that as well, listening to audiobooks and reading. Um, but yeah, if if it wasn't clear that that that, that this would explain why I I put up all these videos, I, and I felt like explaining it also because it's kind of strange that out of nowhere I switched into making videos almost exclusively in Spanish, and it was like a bunch of or a bunch, several video game footage videos in a row and it almost looked as though this is what this channel is now is just Spanish video game videos uh, but no like I said it's really it comes down to a couple things one is that like I wasn't really using the channel during that time especially like I said if I'm in a low kind of depressed state like I'm not really creating much anyway at all anywhere ever though I could there, there are plenty of outlets for that type of energy um, and ways to express it. But I wasn't using the channel, like no content is being put up. So I thought, why not, like I said, record what I'm doing in my free time to learn Spanish, you know, uh, dub it, add voice recordings in Spanish to further practice, to further uh, find out how to say things. And then like, why not post it if I made it and it was fun to make? Because I could have just made the videos, which would still be... They still would have been just as fun to make. I would have enjoyed it and gotten just as much new uh, vocabulary out of it or, or whatever I'm getting. New practice speaking. And then I could have just kept it on my computer. Or I could have deleted it. But I figured, why not just upload them, right? So they're here now. And like I said, I, I probably will... There will be more eventually. Um, but more recently, I'm focusing on... Uh, speaking with people so maybe eventually there would be videos of me doing that but I tend not to feel too comfortable recording conversations with others um, but that that might change uh, it's been a while since I've done this but there's like there are websites where you can just chat with random strangers through video and audio and uh, just video calls with random strangers and I've used that to practice Spanish in the past, and that is an option. I could, I guess, technically record the conversation, eventually let the individual know that I'm recording, and then ask their permission to use the recording. If not, I won't put it up. If yes, maybe I could use clips of that to make a video. But, uh, yeah, the reason why this content is like suddenly on the channel is that I enjoy making videos of all kinds, and I thought, why don't I just... Again, I could kind of keep the ball rolling with the, with the Spanish and uh, just upload what I'm doing. Because if I don't, I don't get to make videos, you know? If I said, oh, I'm not going to put anything in Spanish or no, you know, video game content. And that's another thing I just realized, a note about this, because nobody knows this, I don't think. I mean, most people, maybe a couple people do, because I've posted a long time ago a couple clips of some game or something. But I've always enjoyed video games. I don't watch television, and other than this new habit of watching shows and movies in Spanish, I don't usually watch too many shows or movies. For years, people had been telling me, oh, you gotta watch Game of Thrones, you gotta watch Stranger Things, you gotta watch all these different shows. And my response was always like, I don't have Netflix, or I don't watch TV. 
so that's not going to happen. Like, I just don't. Now, I am starting to explore some things. As long as they are translated and fully dubbed in Spanish, uh, to me, it's like, if I have that time, that recreational time just to watch a show, I may as well do it in Spanish so I'm getting something out of it, right? And that's all I'm doing right now. I'm not, I'm not really watching anything in English other than some YouTube videos. And if I'm with other people, I have to watch English because nobody wants to watch Spanish just because I am learning it. Um, you know, if I watch a movie with family or something like that. But yeah, I've always been, I've always been a fan of video games like my entire life. I just never posted content like this, so it might seem like, where is this coming from? This is just always, uh, I've always preferred it. I've preferred video games over m movies. It's difficult to say that, but I think it is the truth, if I had to make the choice. Like, I prefer video games over film and, and uh, shows. Though film and TV shows and music, especially music, um, these forms of art, I can connect with them emotionally and spiritually and mentally. That is to say, they interact, these forms of art interact with my heart, my mind, my soul, my spirit. But with video games, there's an added element, and it's will. You, you can have, and not, many video games are not that deep. Some of them are more than others, so it's not always so much about the soul I guess, or the heart, but in a great game, um, I will have a connection with my heart, with uh, the story. It's just storytelling, just as you would find in a, in a great film, I guess. But that's more rare. But it's that that added element of will, that the ability to make decisions: which direction will I go, or how will I do this, how will I complete this story? Um, that's what makes video games so interesting as an art form, because you can interact with them in a way that isn't possible with music or with film. But truly, I couldn't say, I, I, I just tried to a few moments ago, but I couldn't say that I prefer one over the other. But yeah, specifically, again, in the context of learning Spanish, video games would have more value. The only issue is that, similar to the nature documentary style footage that I mentioned, the voice acting in video games, not always, but what I have found for the most part, the Spanish voice acting, it's a little bit, it's too crisp, it's too clear, it's too slow to be considered realistic. When I compare it with my experience of speaking with people or hearing people speak around me, it's a little, it's just because it is voice acting, um, everything is a lot more clear, less slang, almost no slang sometimes. But, yeah. So I will probably continue to, to use video games as a form of learning, but where I'm at now, I really don't know how much it is helping. It might be holding me back because there's a lot of time in between the dialogue experiences or whatever, where you're just playing a game now. Like in combat, am I learning anything during combat? No. And most of these games revolve around some form of combat. So mostly I'm just, I've just been speaking with people and trying to improve in that way. So anyway, yeah, I just thought I would explain this because I don't think I had yet, maybe very briefly in a video when I was speaking Spanish, but not like this. So that would explain everything that's happening. And I will continue to make videos in Spanish, um, even videos like this where I'm just speaking to the camera. The more I practice, the more I'm able to express, and the more I will be able to fully just express my thoughts and feelings in the language, which is my goal. And of course, if I do so, I will, again, as an added layer of learning and solidifying what I know, I will be putting subtitles in English when I do speak Spanish, because that helps me a lot, and it would help anyone who doesn't speak Spanish to be able to access the content but also again like I am doing right now I will continue to make videos in English but like what I make videos about or whether or not it's like video game footage or me recording like this that all just depends on on, on my mood because I realize this channel does not have well it's not something that I realize I've always known this this channel doesn't have a theme or a niche or 
a focus really it's just me making videos about whatever I feel like given my current mental state or emotional state or whatever I'm into during that time um, so for that reason it's a bit strange and inconsistent with uh, like I try to look at analytics sometimes and it's there's there's not much that I can even focus on or think about there because I didn't make this channel in order to like create a business, to create a brand and to make money. Though that would be cool if that happened as a side effect. It's very unlikely to happen because I'm just doing all different types of things. And who knows, maybe eventually as I continue to make videos, somehow everything will like funnel down into one focus, one style of video that becomes consistent. But my guess is that that is not likely to happen when I look at the history of of uh, this channel specifically. Um, I think I just checked, it was like 2016 when I made it. And it's strange, I think the most popular video on the channel is of uh, a lizard whose tail fell off and the tail is shaking. And then there's some other popular ones where I've just recorded insects and stuff like that. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's funny, this channel is kind of funny to me. Because I don't even I don't know what I'm doing here. I just make like I said I make videos that I want to do that I want to make that I enjoy making. A lot of it is just I enjoy the editing process with some of these videos, specifically with the Spanish video game stuff. Like me editing the videos and recording the the the, the audio dubbing and typing the typing the um, subtitles. Like the whole process is like fun for me. And then I figure when I'm when I had fun making it, why not upload it, right? But yeah. Um, as always, and I've said this a, a lot um, here and there, I mean, on different videos, I'm always open to suggestions or ideas. If you have something, like maybe there's some type of video that I made before, or some specific style of content that you're interested in seeing more of, um, communicate about that, you know? Let me know, and, and I probably will be open to doing so, because if I made it before, the chances are I'm still, I would still be interested in making it again. Maybe not, and maybe your idea will go onto the back burner and I'll think about it and I'll wait and I'll make a video later on it or something like that but but yeah recently in life when people ask me you know what are your hobbies or what do you do in your free time I, my answer is pretty much Spanish I just say I'm learning Spanish because that is truly all I'm doing and now that comes like I've repeated a million times in this video that comes in many forms books, movies, shows, music video games, all of it speaking with others um, but that's all I'm really doing right now. And just to repeat it again, that's why I'm putting up content in Spanish because I either do that or I just leave this channel sitting here absolutely dead with no new content. And of course, you, as you can see, I'm experimenting with these shorts. Those, some of those are fun to make. Like I just, a, a 15 second video juggling. Um, again, it's fun for me. This whole making videos is fun. That's why I've always... That's why I've done this for so long. Clearly, some content is more interesting than others to other people, but uh, somehow this is like more for me than it is for other people. I don't know exactly what that is, but yeah, putting all this stuff out over the years, it feels good for some reason. And I do honestly regret deleting that other, the, the original We Are Living Magic channel. And I, I to this day, I don't know what... I couldn't explain, I don't remember what state of mind I was in, but I had decided for sure, I know that, that I'm deleting this channel and I just, I was like, yeah. I felt very confident in the decision at the time and looking back, it's kind of, I kind of wish I could look back at some of those videos because I didn't even save copies of them, they're gone. Um, I think it was because I had changed so much in my perspective and I thought I was foolish or something like that for the videos that I had made, the things I had said, or, or whatever, the perspectives I held, maybe I just hated that version of myself. But I no longer do, and I wish I could uh, kind of see that again. But it is what it is, and I'm here now. And I don't probably, I don't think I plan on stopping making videos. It's just that the content will, will continue to shift um, and, and change somewhat as I as I move through life, you know what I mean? Life is always a roller coaster for me. I'm always, I'm either up or I'm down, 
or I might just be pretty neutral sometimes, but yeah, the, the motivation to make videos is kind of has been all over the place over the over the years. But yeah, I think I've just talked long enough here. I'll let you guys go. Appreciate you for watching, especially if you watch this whole thing of me just talking about Spanish videos. Uh, but again, I wanted to make this, uh, I wanted to communicate this, the reason why, why suddenly these videos are in Spanish and there's this video game content coming out. But again, leave any, uh, leave any comments uh, as far as what would you like to see more of? Or what would you like to see? Maybe something brand new. Um, I'm just making I'm just making things that I enjoy making so far, and I think I will continue to do that. Have a good day, everybody.